What is up, YouTube? That's it here, bringing you guys another episode of In It to Win You. We are still playing with the Blitzkrieg team. We're trying to make more plays with this hyper aggressive team. We're going to be using Filling King's Rock Raichu, Choice Vex Tapu Koko, Bulky Choice Scarf Tapu Lele, Standard Feramoso with both Ice Beam, Poison Jab, and High Jump Kick. It's just going to be like a standard set, but uh, I know I use Ice Beam. Some people don't use Ice Beam. Some people like to have a bug move. And while I do like having bug moves in my Feramoso because they're staff, they're good against things like uh, like Orin Guru, the Lunge is really good against Muck, for example, but that's a that's a whole other tangent. Anyways, I have Ice Beam for Garchomp, long story short. And then next up, we have the Focus Sash Pelipper, and then the Rain Dance Golduck that uh, we haven't really used Rain Dance yet. We haven't really brought Rain all that much yet. It's pretty much just been the Feramosa show so far, but uh, hopefully we can uh, try to bring a little bit more Rain. Hopefully our opponents will let us use Rain. It's really hard to use Rain against things like Feeny, like Bulu, with their, which are both really, really popular right now. It's just a much better option to bring things like Coco and Feramosa against those type of Pokemon. So hopefully we can do our best. Hopefully we can bring some more Double Duck action to the table. Let's hop into some games and see if we can make it happen. Here we go. All right, so our first opponent, I can already see it. It's like the worst matchup. It's going to be Gigalith, Porygon, Arcanine, Feeny, Garchomp, and Steela. So there's a million things like I can talk about, but I only have like a minute and 15 seconds to talk about this. Long story short, I could bring Double Duck. I can go for the Water UMZ Brine combo into Porygon. All my opponent would have to do is switch and giggle with take away my rain, and I don't have the power to KO. Another thing that happens, uh, if I were to go Feromosa lead and try and high jump kick the Porygon, all they have to do is switch in their Arcanine, and I do not have the KO power to do what I need to do. So I need to bring Feromosa, and remember that's most likely a Scarf on the Garchomp over there. I would not be surprised if it had Flamethrower to be able to deal with Kartanas, which would in turn still deal with Feromosa, and I only have 45 seconds left, and there's still so much more I want to talk about. I should just do a video about Team Preview and everything you could possibly gauge from a Team Preview. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go uh, Raichu, which I don't like here. I think Raichu's garbage and Mosa, just because it's the safest thing. I only got 30 seconds left. What are the secondaries? I could bring Double Duck. It's decent. It's really bad against Feeny. And I don't like it versus Gigalith. I think I'm going to bring Coco and Lele, though. Here we go. You guys have seen me play the team so far. Either I bring the Double Ducks as the lead, or I don't bring them at all. Sometimes I'll bring just the Golduck if it's like a really hard Trick Room team. Especially now that my Golduck has uh, Rain Dance to activate its Switch Swim if I need it. But uh, it's, it's a hard sell for me to bring Golduck. Another thing I could have done was bring Raichu and Golduck as a lead and just go fake out, expect a switch in and just pop a rain dance, or if they just love it to Gigalith, I can just pop a rain dance. But, uh, you know, we're going to see. I expect the Gigalith to potentially be in the lead here. So we see P2 Feeny. All right. So again, another thing I was talking about was the potential for an Arcanine switch in is huge. All they have to do is switch out the Feeny. We know that the Gigalith's going to be in the back because that is how you play this lead. I already explained that's one way to get the guaranteed Trick Room up. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be guaranteeing the Trick Room does not happen. We are going to, we are going to be, I'm either going to psychic the Porygon and high jump kick it, or I'm going to fake out it and high jump kick it. Uh, both would get me what I want. The thing is, do I really think that the Porygon just going to take this high jump kick? Like that's, that's the way some people stop the trick room. I guess I, I am going to psychic and high jump kick that guy. There's no other reason to fake out. And another reason why we're psychicking instead of fake outing is just in case a Garchomp switches in, this would take it out. And I don't want to take that rough skin damage from a fake out. Psychic does a little bit more. Porygon 2 switching out, so he's opting to go with the other way to beat the lead. Is I just kind of blow my load on the Porygon, and then I don't have enough stuff. And I, I missed my high jump kick, so uh, game's over. We lost. Woo! Not bad! Not bad! Sad face. Because we would have at least got the steal for it, and now we get nothing. So that sucks. That fucking sucks, man. Ugh. I didn't really do anything wrong. Another thing I could have went for is the uh, fake out on Feeny and the high jump kick, but then a switch in on the arc, and I would have made it so my high jump kick doesn't KO if it's a full HP defense. Or not even full HP, just mostly HP defense. Now we're still going to try this out. Uh, I need to save my King's Rock. Like, I have to save it. It's very important that we save it. So now we got to start going for reads, which is another not fun thing to do. Now we got to start reading this person forever. I'm going to have to Thunderbolt the Feeny. I think I'm going to Psychic and Thunderbolt the Feeny because I think Feeny might switch into Coco. <sighs> what am I really supposed to do? That's so unfortunate that we missed the high jump kick. Steel would have been down. This would have been easy money. I still have Lele in the back, but I don't want to use it yet. Feeny's protecting. Oh my god. Uh, 
This is all because I missed a high jump kick. Hey, he's going to have you slam. I don't know if that one-shot's my Coco. It's probably you trying to one-shot it. Oh, no, one-shot, huh? All right, that's fine. We'll just Thunderbolt the Coco and Encore the Feeny. All right. I expected the Steel to protect because it had uh, leftovers, and it didn't. He's probably going to switch out Steel this turn. All right, he's going to eat this. I wonder if he Z-move Feeny. That'd be hilarious. Because it would go through my Encore. Alright, Thunderbolt's going to come on Steel. Hopefully we can take that guy out, but, you know, it's not always the case. Cool, take that guy out. Those are things that I take. Alright, Feeny ate an Encore. And it got a double protect, which means we can nuke that if we want to next turn. Alright, oh, Porygon's going to be coming in most likely. Just got to fling that guy. I think I'm going to fling Thunderbolt to Porygon. Uh, two Thunderbolts plus a Psychic and fling damage can take that guy out. It's an attack boost. Beanie's going to most likely be switching. I really think there's a giggle with our Arcanine in the back. It's got to gotta fling the gotta fling Porygon. I could Thunderbolt the uh, Gigalith slot, but then I wouldn't have enough to kill the Porygon next turn. So I got, I got to get the Porygon while I can. It's going to take both Thunderbolts to do this. He's leaving the Feeny in. Okay. Hey, that's completely fine. If you want to leave your, your Porygon in, and the, sorry, if you want to leave your Feeny in, I'll I'll deal this damage that needs to get dealt. Oh, it is Z-Move! What? What is my life? What is life? Okay, he better be hitting my Raichu. Otherwise, we're just going to Encore him forever because we're going to KO that, uh... And we're going we're gonna to KO the, the... What is it next turn? Whatever it is. He's Hydro Vortexing. My Raichu, alright, well... It's the right choice. Alright, um... I don't know if I have enough damage to deal what I want to do. I'm going to send Lele out. It's going to take away my terrain, which kind of sucks. I might have to de-gleam. I kind of want to lock myself into Thunder, to be quite honest. Okay, let me look what he has in the back. He has potential for Garchomp, Arcanine, or Gigalith. I think it's Arcanine could also be Gigalith. Like, I kind of want to lock myself into Moonblast, just in case it's, uh, it's Garchomp. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to Psychic. I think if he had the Garchomp, he would have switched in, like, a million turns ago. We're going to double up into the Porygon slot, because I want Leo to be able to take it out, but I don't think that it can, and I kind of want to lock myself into Deagleam, but I don't think that's a good enough play. So we're going to do this. Feeny's staying in. Wow. All right, so next turn we can just nuke the Feeny, if we need to. So T-Bolt's going to come in on here. It's not going to be enough. And then uh, Psychic's going to be enough to kill the Porygon. And what is his last mom? Is it Arcanine? If it's Arcanine, we win. If it's Garchomp, we might even... Uh, I don't think... We, uh, we might win if it's Garchomp. That's a, that's a hard sell, actually. Uh, if it's Gigalith. Uh, it is Gigalith. Of course it's Gigalith, right? It's always Gigalith. All right. Uh, Encore's over for Feeny. And Gigalith can only do so much. I'm going to Thunderbolt that Feeny, but I don't know if it KOs it. Psychic the Gigalith. Thunderbolt the Feeny. It's the best thing I could do. Hmm. I knew he had the Gigalith. I knew he had it. So, Gigalith's protecting. Uh, I ha if I KO this Feeny with this Thunderbolt, which is unlikely, uh, we, we win. Ah, oh, we win! Oh, I can't believe it! Like, I gave up. I'm not gonna lie. I gave up on this match. I gave up. But, you know, I, I didn't obviously give up. I'm still here. But, uh, wow. <laughs> I played correctly. Everything went terribly. And we still managed to come back and win. I think we win. I mean, the only thing that beats us is, like, Quick Claw, Rock Slide, Flinch, Gigalith. Thunderbolt's going to come in, even though he has a Sandstorm boost, it's going to do a lot. Oh, get a para. All right, that's a... It's not vested. Wow, that is actually the bulkiest Gigalith I've ever seen in my life. And... Okay, I was going to say, that that Thunderbolt did not do as much as I thought it would. I didn't have terrain, but, like, still. Okay, we win. Uh, whew. What else do I want to say about that game? Like, all right, you guys saw... I, 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 I missed my high jump kick, and I went like this, and I was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I completely stopped casting, but...
Wow, wow, we won. Fling's pretty good. He totally should have switched his Feeny out. Why didn't he switch his Feeny out? He had like 10 turns to switch that guy out and he didn't want to. He had, he had three. He had three turns to do it. Should have switched it out. And it was Zemu Feeny, which was like also another worst case scenario. But hey, we win. Very surprisingly. Would have been a lot easier if we just hit the high jump kick. Uh, the game would have been a four stock, I think. Or not four stock. We'd have lost most of the first turn regardless. But like, the steal wouldn't have been a problem. I could have done things a little bit differently, and, uh, yeah, we still win. We take those. Going on to game two. All right, so we're going up against another Japanese player. It's going to be Coco Gudra, Torkoal Trevenant, Porygon Z, and Aerodactyl. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, this looks like the time to use my Golduck strat of, uh, yeah, I'm totally thinking about it. Uh, the Golduck Strat and using Swift Swim. Like, our Swift Swim. Sorry, Rain Dance. Duh, duh. Using Rain Dance. Um, let me think about it. The, the good thing about Trevenant that he thinks is that you can't fake out it. So he's like, aha, Trevenant is so good. Like, I could go Raichu Pelipper? I don't like that. I gotta go Raichu as a lead, right? Raichu has to happen. And then, like, I just don't have any Pokemon that can, like, stop a Trevenant. I'm trying to think of things I have that can, like, two shot Trevenant. You know, that's what I'm looking at. Ooh, he's already ready. All right, I'm going to go Raichu and Lele. Lele might be able to two-shot. And then I, I'll, I'll bring Gold... Nah, Golduck's so bad. It's going to be a Sash on his Aerodactyl, most likely. We're still looking at... I'm gonna, I'll bring Pelipper, and then since we're bringing Pelipper, I'll just bring the Golduck, whatever. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to try this out. I think I can win. I think I can win. I didn't see his rating. We're going to see it once the game starts, but I think he had a really high rating. He's either in, like... The 16, 17, 18, or 1900s. That's pretty much it. Probably. I didn't look at his rating. Uh, but I, I think I could take this. Let's see. Let's see if he just leads with like Torkoal and. Uh, Alright, this PZ and Aerodactyl. Alright, so I can actually fake out the Aerodactyl if I wanted to. Alright, I am. So, yeah, that stops a Tailwind. That stops a lot of things. And then PZ. Hmm. I could fling the PZ, but I'm trying to save my fling for later on in the game. I wonder if it's like a Scarf PZ though, and has like that big, uh, like, just Hyper Beam destroy my life move. Uh, I think I'm going to Psychic the PZ. I'd put it within range for a Psychic from my Raichu. Yeah, we're just going to Psychic up. Uh, I could nuke the Aerodactyl this turn, and then next turn hit the Porygon. Actually, we're going to do that. We're going to Fake Out and Psychic Aerodactyl, and the next turn we'll, we'll turn our attention to the Porygon. Yeah, because they're using Protect. Ooh, ooh, baby. You like that one? Those are things that I take. Look at this read. He's going for the Protect Tailwind, and I'm like, I don't know what you think was going to happen, but homie don't play that. Like, get out of here. Oh, he's alive. Are you kidding? Why is it alive? Why is it alive, is it alive again? Does anyone know? It's so bulky. Ah, whatever. Uh, it's fine. I guess I could have thundered it. <laughs> I'm not going to use thunder on it. It's okay. Uh, it's because I'm not life orb. It's because I'm scarfed. Uh, I, I have to encore the Porygon. I know that the Porygon most likely has a Z move, but he would just be encoring into, like, the Z move. And then he Z moves, and then, like, he ca he's back to protect. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck using Psychic. So, hopefully he doesn't flinch me. I mean, he's going to set up a Tailwind. He was going for a Sky Drop. No! Oh, well, is he just taking the way away? That's fine. The real the real thing that I wanted him to not mess with was my Raichu. So he can Z-move me if he wants. I don't really care because, like I said, he's going to be stuck using whatever he's doing. All right, so there's two things I can do. I can just nuke that, uh, well, Porygon is probably going to protect. So, uh, yeah, you might as well just attack things correctly. Let's see, who do I will? The correct play is for Raichu to hit the uh, the Aerodactyl and Lele to hit the Porygon because Porygon might just switch because he's on he might not Z-move and I have to use one of my Pokemon to finish off the Aerodactyl who used Sky Drop so yep he's withdrawing Porygon so this is a bigger Psychic he's coming in with the Trevenant this is what we wanted the whole time actually because remember we can fling the Trevenant he's switching in on a big Psychic in the terrain so that's going to be pretty good, unless, like, we get King's Rock flinch somehow. So, yeah, Psychic's going to come up from Lele. He knows that we're Scarf because we're faster than our Raichu. Look at that crit! Look at it! It was huge! That's the first time I think I've ever one-shotted a Trevenant ever in my life. And just like that, he's down to two Pokemon, one of which we know is a Porygon Z, which is most likely a Z-move. So, I mean, let's see Let's see uh, what his what uh, last other Mon is. We didn't even, I haven't even seen his rating yet. Maybe you guys caught it. 
because it pops up in between the turns. So we see Porygon Z, and we still have our fling. Porygon Z and Torkoal, okay. Okay, USA. All right, so the play here is, I think, just to fling the Porygon and uh, Psychic to Torkoal. Yeah, that's the play we're going for. I want to see his rating. Here we go. So I'm 1738 right now. I've fallen just a little bit. And he's 16. All right, so he's a little bit lower than I thought. All right, so fling on Porygon, because remember, we got to keep that guy from doing whatever he wants and psychic up on a Torkoal. I wouldn't be surprised if he just ran. But uh, hey, he's going for the protect, and we can just encore that. We encore those forever. You can protect me all you want. Uh, I don't really know if this psychic kills a Torkoal. Uh, I know that my Torkoal sometimes lives through these things because it's bulky, but opposing Torkoal isn't so lucky. And even if he did, we have rain in the back. If you got a huge double KO there somehow with like a double crit heat wave, uh, we would sort of sent out double duck and rolled him. So here, uh, again, we, we could just go for the double psychic, but I'll just encore him again. He can do whatever he wants. We're just going to psychic. We're going to encore. And it looks like I brought the right two Pokemon to the start of the game to really mess this guy up. I read him going for the Tailwind play. I I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing first turn. Maybe he was going for a Skydrop first turn, but either way, I read him pretty hard. I assumed that that was either a Trick Room Porygon or a uh, Conversion Somewhat Setup Porygon, and not the standard Scarf set that you see more often than I think most Porygons are actually Scarf nowadays, but it was a Setup Porygon, and that means it was Slow Them Raichu, so Raichu took advantage of it. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these games, this team in the comments below. I know we had a very close first game, and the second game was that, that second game was a bit of a steamroll, but it was full of really good reads. And remember, that is how you play this team. You have to know what your opponent's going to do before they even know, and then take advantage of it. So it's the intense reads that make this team a lot of fun to play. So let me know what you guys thought about them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.